Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spade. It is Friday. It's Friday, April 19th, 2024. Yes, um... <sighs> well, Tara gave me the reminder that I need to give the Bailey cow because I've forgotten it twice. Can she get new controllers anytime soon? This is getting ridiculous. I think... He's reminded me twice now that I have forgotten to give the daily count. So twice I have forgotten. But anyway, it is day 100 I messed up. of being completely sober. We're, we are doing fantastic. Thank you. And, um, well, <laughs> there were some things I was going to touch on. I'm trying to remember what they were because my train of thought kind of went all over the place while trying to get things fixed up, trying to find a different avatar to wear because someone did say there was an issue with the glow on this avatar. And unfortunately for me, it's it, it's not my fault. It's it's literally, this is a public avatar. Me, but I'm going to pull up the name. Oh, someone gave me a friend request and I'm going to say no because I have no idea who that is. I don't, I don't, I accidentally went into a public world, and, uh, needless to say, I, I shouldn't have done that. Because, I, I, I went into, I accidentally went into the public, you know, uh, avatar search world, and, um, there were so many screaming children in there. If you, if you were a parent, if you're a parent and you let your child use VR when they sound like a squeaky prepubescent child, um, you should rethink that because of, um, the old studies that they had, or, in fact, they had a study late, mid late last year about it, with, um, how virtual reality with children affects their motor skill development, because when they move in VR, their bodies, over, their muscles overcompensate, so the muscle movement they have is far more exaggerated than what an adult would have, and their muscles do not go back to normal as quickly as it would for an adult. So lots of development for ER and children is not good. You shouldn't let your children into VR. But uh, I understand that people let their kids do that. But please, if you're a parent and you let your kid use VR, take VR chat off their headset. Do not let your children in here. This is not a place for kids. I understand that there are people who are like, you know, 13, 14 years old that still try to force their way in here, but this is not a place for kids. If you have an eight or nine year old coming in here, and you let your children do that, I'm sorry, you're not a good parent. But not even I let my child in here. I'm not going, well, we're not going to let our kids in here. Absolutely not. It's inappropriate. There are too many adults in here, and I... I've seen things in here, okay? I have seen things that no child should be exposed to. Anyway, that's a completely different rant. That's not even why I'm here. I'm here just to enjoy myself, and I need to be enjoying myself right now. But I'm, I'm trying to think, what was I going to talk about? Is, uh, oh yeah, there were, there were a couple things that I wanted to talk about, but Tara and I long since made an agreement that we wouldn't get, um, we wouldn't get political here because we're just trying to enjoy ourselves and enjoy being sober. And but there, there were some things that we saw that upset us to no end. But I think, I think it's time Tara and I just ha have a talk about actually setting up the second channel that he has just sitting around to do more um serious conversations and serious talk like um social discourse would be the easiest way of putting it but honestly this is not the place for it we we kind of agreed on that this wouldn't be the place but what was what else was it oh oh i was going to talk about well, anime. Because who doesn't like anime? Well, there are a lot of people who don't, but the people who do. Um. I, I can't really bring people on to do talks about anime and stuff like that because I know too many people who are one track minds with their anime. Like, 
I know way too many people I'll be... Or in fact, I can even be talking about things like astrophysics. Her and I will both talk about astrophysics because space is cool. But what we come across time and time again is we'll be talking about astrophysics or things that we're interested in and we constantly get sidelined so someone can talk about edgy or like literally edgy waifu anime. We don't like edgy waifu anime. In fact, we're too old for it. Yes, um, even I say I'm too old for edgy waifu anime. In fact, I've gotten kind of kind of picky about my my uh, genres that I'm into. Like, um, I prefer to find more anime that have adults as the main characters. I mean, yeah, twenties are fine, but I really, I really, really like seeing anime where the main characters are in their thirties. There's one that I do really, really like, and it's a romantic comedy. I've, I've brought it up in conversations before, but I. That, well, let's just say one thing that anime does need to do, they need to stop making overly long and convoluted titles because then they become highly forgettable titles. If you think about, think about all the anime that are memorable, like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, My Hero Academia, which uh, I'll admit I've never watched My Hero Academia. Oh, I've never watched My Hero Academia. But I, I've watched Bleach, I've watched Dragon Ball franchise, I've I've watched Tenchi a long time ago. I'm talking the old stuff, not the new stuff. Um, I've watched Inuyasha. I love Inuyasha. I I have watched all kinds of different titles. But what I've noticed is that the more memorable, popular titles have shorter titles. One of the shows I really like, it's even hard for me to remember the name properly because it's something like, uh, like of an ordinary guy who died and was reincarnated into a fantasy knockout. I think that's the title, I think that's the title of the anime, but the problem, again, like I said, is that the title is too long. The title's too long. It's too forgettable. But... The, the, the two main characters are both in their er When did I grab this? They're both in their early mid-30s. And I really like that. And I like what, some of what, one of my favorite genres is it, at least in anime, because westerns that they're terrible at. Western entertainment is terrible at it. But in Japan, especially with anime, they do am amazing amazing romantic comedies. In the West, yeah, we're, we're terrible at it. They make the... What? Make terrible romantic comedy. It's always wrong, and I don't like raunchy. I'm too old for raunchy. Not to mention, even as a teenager, I never had the patience for raunchy stuff. I, I don't like raunching comedy. I also, when it comes to my entertainment, I do not like gore, and I do not like... And I do not like horror. I don't care for horror franchises of any kind because they're almost always slasher and jump like slasher and just jump scares. There, there's nothing interesting about that. And I and I say that because the big problem is that they're always overly scripted. They script everything so it's cookie cutter. And I don't like cookie cutter entertainment where it's all predi predictable. That's the word I'm looking for is predictable. But I, I do like what with fantasy knockout, what I really like is the characters are very well written. Where they're relatable, even though the main the main the, like the main main character, even though you say they're both the main character. But the main character who did die and was reincarnated into a fantasy knockout, they are relatable in a sense where their character actually seems more natural with certain types of reactions. I understand things are over the top in it because you need to hygiene needs to be over the top at times. But well, well, I guess the biggest reason is they're in their thirties, so that's 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 extremely relatable. <laughs> but. It's not... 
I, I want to say it's like it's it's not like it's shoved in your face kind of thing. It's hard for me to really explain, but it was it, it was it was obviously extremely funny in all the right ways. It wasn't it, and it wasn't um it wasn't perverted. The, the, I would not call it perverted at all. So that that that's that's a big thing. Is one things need to be funny in. I, I, I would argue, uh, sexual tension, it can't be perverted. If it's perverted, then, you, then you're, you've kind of lost the plot there. But, Fantasy Knockout knocked it out of the park. They, they did it without, you know, being over the top. Oh dear. Still losing tracking. I'm doing my best to not lose tracking, and here we are, still losing tracking. But, if anyone here has a Crunchyroll subscription, I I would advise trying to check out Fantasy Knockout. I, I, I'd leave a link if I could. I don't. I'm not really good at the social functionality of Crunchyroll. I really don't understand that portion all too well. That, that's that's entirely my fault though. So uh, there's coffee in my face now. Ah, uh, anyway, um, yeah, but. I, um, I've long since been tired of the trope of, you know, high school students in anime. I, I was tired of that in 2005, 2006, especially 2006 when I graduated high school. I always hated high school. I hated high school. All I wanted to do was graduate and be done with it and never talk to those people again. That was me. And luckily... When it comes to people from my high school, I only on occasion talk to one person from, from my high school. Because my two best friends growing up didn't go to my high school. They went to a neighboring high school. So, the one I went to, oh, I could say things about that. It was not good. So, needless to say, when it comes to my interest in anime, I want nothing to do with school. I like adults. I like to I, I I like to watch stuff with. Why would I say adult scenes? But adult plots, where it's the heels, they are next door. And the problem that I've found with adult main characters in anime is they typically go either. Um, yeah. Let me turn my gestures off. There we go. There we go. Okay, so the main, when it comes to adults as main characters in anime that I've always had an issue with, is that it almost exclusively goes pop drama, gore, gory samurai stuff, or, you know, action, like, like, really seriously themed action theme, horror, well, sometimes horror, a lot more of it still, you know, high school trope. But the adult, or the adult ones are either, again, either cop dramas, gore, horror, or even more hentai. I, oh yeah, I turned my, I turned my gestures off. Or hentai. I do not like hentai. I don't. Again, it's just... The hentai's just asking for trouble, and I'm not looking for trouble, I'm looking to be entertained. So it's reached the point that with almost all entertainment I've liked, I'm pushed out because even with adult shows that are on American TV, they also follow those same tropes of being pop drama's door in... sets. I don't like that. And it looks like the... It looks like my nephew's here right now. So, I'll have to keep this one brief. Because he's here. But I will, um... I will still work on a video with Tara. A little bit later. In the meantime, I want everyone to have a wonderful Friday. And I'll see everyone tomorrow. Or maybe... Maybe I'll have to add more of this a little bit later. But I'll go say hi to my nephew. I'll have everyone have a wonderful day.